I'm going to show you how to use the recycler here in Industrial Craft 2, otherwise known as IC2. So first things first, what voltage do we need to give it? Well, we need to give it a low voltage, so tin cable would be the best option. If you are using medium voltage, then you'll need to use something like this, an LV transformer, where the high voltage goes in the yellow slots and the output goes on any other side, which would be there where you then connect your recycler to. Another option, if you have got... Um, higher voltage in here is you could make these transformer upgrades now as it's low voltage you will only ever need a maximum of four to get the full um the, the kind of the full voltage being accessible by your recycler by you know adding one transformer upgrade means it's you know um copper cables a second one would take it up to gold, a third one for high voltage, and a fourth one for glass fiber at 8,000 voltage. So four transformer upgrades will be the most you will ever need in here. If you want to make it quicker, you can use an overclocker upgrade or multiple of them. Um, and you can also use energy storage upgrades to increase the buffer of energy that you have here in your recycler. So what is the recycler and how do we use it? Often this recycler is used um, in tandem with the mass fabricator. And the main thing we actually want to do here is we're going to be producing scrap. So you can put anything in this recycler, anything at all. Let's say I'm going to put dirt in here. And really easy um, items to get like dirt will be the best option because it, it treats everything um, the same. Everything has a 12% chance to make scrap. So you can see here it's going through this dirt and not providing anything at all. I'm now going to use some um, overclocker upgrades i'm gonna make five of them i'm gonna put them in here and you can see it's going a lot faster now as i said it's only a 12 percent chance to actually make scrap another good thing that you could do in here to speed it up is maybe add a pulling upgrade what i'm going to do is add a chest on this side so i'm going to shift right click with my pulling upgrade on the side where i want it to pull from and then i'm going to put this into the machine i can then add a chest on this side and then if I put dirt into here, let's say I put all this dirt in here like that, it's going to pull all of this dirt from the chest because I've said to the pulling upgrade, pull from this side. And you can see here I've only made 10, uh, 11 scraps so far. So you do want to really feed this thing with a lot of junk. And as I said, it will treat anything, um, it'll treat absolutely anything equally. So you do want to give it junk to, I guess, make junk. So what can we do with scrap then? Well, we can use it with bone meal to make fertilizer, which we can use in crops of IC2. Or we can make these scrap boxes. You can burn them in furnaces, etc. As you can see here, it smelts 1.75 items, whereas a scrap box will smelt 15 items. And you make a scrap box with nine scrap. The main use of these, though, however, with scrap is use in a mass fabricator which is this here. Oh, they've changed the name of it. It's the matter fabricator now, isn't it? I always forget about this. The matter fabricator. And what you basically do in here is you use scrap to make UU matter. Um, so this is how I would set up my recycler. I would use any kind of junk in here. You can hover over this blue icon to see what upgrades you can give it. The three main ones I would probably use are the three that I've shown you here. You can add more and more and more overclockers in, but it will use a huge amount of extra power um, and it will only decrease the process time by smaller and smaller amounts. You can sort of see it as diminishing returns or how it actually works is that it's multiplicative. Um, so do be careful adding too many of these in if you can't power it. And you are going to have to feed it a hell of a lot here. But that, everyone, is how you use the recycler in Industrial Craft 2 or IC2. If you'd like to see more guides for this mod, check out the playlist you now see on screen. And do click that subscribe button, because if you check out my channel, you'll see that I am dedicated to actually providing you with guides for every single mod in Minecraft that I can. If you'd like to support the channel or get more one-on-one -on -one support, then do consider also joining my Patreon linked in the description below. However, if you just need a bit of extra help on maybe this mod or a different one, feel free to also join the Discord in the description below where you can get some help in our Minecraft channels.